What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about some pictures that you may or may not have seen floating around the internet and uh, we're going to give you our opinion. So by now, you probably have all either seen somebody else's YouTube video or just seen it on the internet. These leaked pictures yeah. of what some people are thinking may be a new version of CVO Road Glide, CVO Street Glide. Um, there's been several videos out there, some good ones on it. And we just figured, you know, we're going to chime in with our opinion because that's what we like to do. That's right. So you've seen the pictures. I've seen the pictures. Um, some things I like, some things I don't like, I guess. Well, let's first, let's first, let's, let's say we're going to go off the premise that these are real pictures. I think they're real. And are truly potentially something coming down the line for Harley Davidson. As a production let's, bike. Let's go off mm -hmm. that premise to begin with. Okay. Okay. So, um. I think they're real. You think they're real? Because some people they, think it's it's a Photoshop thing, so I don't think it's Photoshop. I, I think they're real bikes, and to me, the one picture looked like the inside of the York plant. I've been inside the York plant. I mean, it could just be generic, but it looked like the floor of the York plant. The way the yellow lines are painted, the way everything looked in there. Okay, I haven't been there, you so know? so. I mean, I don't I don't think it's a Photoshop thing. I just don't. I mean, we, I just don't know mm -hmm. if it's legitimately right, you know, or it's just some custom bikes that are being. Put, put, together. On, put together i don't know so we, we'll, we'll talk about that but mm -hmm. so let's go off the premise that they're real um so some of the big things that you see in it differences mm -hmm. the fairing for the road we'll start with the road glide the road yep. glide is clearly uh got a changed up fairing um kind of a different shape to it headlight and um turn signal the turn signal seem to be all everything integrated integrated well. into mm -hmm. the fairing no little pods on the side yep. um obviously just get it out of the way the big thing you know if you look to the, the one this side here it's a 121 motor which yep. a lot of people will probably be excited about to be expected i mean it's gonna every 121 seems like the appropriate jump from 117 you know what i mean that seems to be you know about the size we went what 107 114, 117, 121 seems to be right. about the next number you'd hit. So right, right. That seems legit. Yep. And then another another biggie on the front end, the whole front end a little mm -hmm. bit different. You got the inverted forks and uh, the uh, Brembo brakes. So Brembo <coughs> brakes are, it's it's. I think it's cool that they labeled them because what a lot of people don't know is the brakes on your Harley right now are made by Brembo. Mm -hmm. Harley. Harley just doesn't have the name on there. Mm -hmm. And when Indian came out with the Challenger, they was like, well, it has Brembo brakes. Well, Harley has two. So I think it's cool that they've taken the step to label them as appropriate with a good brand name. Um, very cool. Inverted forks are something people have been crying about for a long time, wanting. So. Inverted forks are a big thing. You know, the diameter where the fork is there is larger when it mounts to the frame. It makes the whole front end stiffer, better handling. It's a performance thing. It's it's a big deal. So, yeah, I like it. Um, now, if you look at the one side, if you look at that other side, the the fairing looks strange. Yeah, and we've it, talked it, it about. Can't this. tell if it's the picture, the angle, or if it is strange, or if there's something weird. It it looks abnormally large from the one angle. It looks like it's way way more massive than the tank. It, it, it looks kind of like. Round and bulbous. Yeah. It kind of reminded me. Ever seen Marvin yeah. Martin the Martian, the yeah, big yeah. orange guy who used to follow him around? Yeah. But I feel like the yeah. the, the the other angle from more the front. I think that that angle bearing cool. I like. Yeah, I think cool. that looks cool. Um, it's just I just can't tell what's going on with that yeah. with that. And then everybody said that you know that's where that that angle right there is why originally people thought like that was not real, um, not real yeah. and photoshopped. Um, so. I mean, if that's if that's some new stuff that's coming out on a CVO, or just if it's a new version of the Road Glide that they're coming out with, mm -hmm. um, there's some cool stuff to it. Yep. Um, whether it's a CVO or not, I I don't think they're CVOs. I don't think they're CVOs either. And there's mm -hmm. there's 
this has been mentioned by other people. There's some inconsistencies as far as it's blacked out, but it's not blacked out. Yeah, I, I think they're both probably prototype bikes. So, you know, you have like a mix of parts on there. But I don't think they're CVOs. I think you're looking at the next generation Street Glide, the next generation Rogue Glide, which tells us a lot of things about Harley. I personally would think that would be cool. Yeah. Just the fact that they're making some changes, they're trying they're trying to give people what they mm -hmm. want. Um, and a different to everybody's every year at the release, you know, everybody's uh, it's all the same. There's no mm -hmm. new bike. So th these would be some pretty big, significant changes. Huge changes. Um, Changing the bat wing is a huge change, but we'll get there. <laughs> yeah. So, so I just thought like if this, if this legit was a CVO and, and this is what it was going to look mm -hmm. like, it, it's weird, you know, blacked out, but then your shift linkage is, is uh, your shift, uh, levers are chrome. The crash bars, chrome, the pipes are chrome, chrome. handlebars are black. black. That's just, that would be really weird. Unless, like yeah. you said, it's just they got some stuff slapped on and this isn't exactly how it's going to come out yeah. um, when it comes out. Yeah, I think I, I think know. these are prototypes and I think what you what you see released is either going to be chrome or black. I don't think it's going to. I would hope so yeah. because I think the, the mix of the two would be a little odd. Mm -hmm. So then the Street Glide. Um, seems like that's a pretty significant change to the fairing as well. That's the biggest change. <clears throat> I, I like it. I, I like how it looks. I like how the headlight is. I like I, how I yeah. feel it looks a little modernized. Yeah. Um, the integrated, you know, blinkers that come up the sides of the uh, fairing. Honestly, not something that they necessarily came up with. Ciro has a part that they've been producing for years. Um, I think some other companies have parts that they've been producing for years that kind of go underneath the bat wing mm -hmm. with that same type of design, but... I think the visibility it's of right that's down the cool. Middle, though, yeah, of yeah. The this, wing. this is like, yeah, it's they, inter, it's they like have that option cutout. to integrate it, right? Which so, I gotta say, if it's legit going to be the next version of the bat wing fairing, mm -hmm. I actually like it better than the current one. Yeah, I, that, I, I like it a lot. And I'm not, I'm not a bat wing guy, but yeah, I think it looks pretty cool. Yeah. So because I like it, probably like bat wing traditionalists are like, eh. <laughs> yeah. Now both of them look like they might possibly be set up for the adjustable winch windscreens yeah i mean you're not going to know it's hard to tell that from the pictures you're not going to know i mean definitely the windshields are new they're not they're brand new designed windshields mm -hmm. um i feel like it would not be very harley like for them to come out with a bike and have the windshield be adjustable on everything yeah, I, I feel like that would be uh, that would be something I would expect Harley to put like maybe on its CVO or maybe on its Ultras or its yeah. Limiteds. I wouldn't expect your regular Street Glide or Road Glide standard to be coming with something, an accoutrement like a a uh, yeah mm -hmm, a uh, powered windshield. And some people love them, some people hate them. I think it's a cool thing. Um, I think the people who don't like them probably don't ride in enough varying weather. You know, because sometimes you want that extra airflow, and obviously when it's cold out, you don't. You know, so to be yeah. able to adjust that on the fly, I think is, you know, probably a nice thing. I've never had one, but I would like it. Yeah, yeah. I've not ridden it. I sat on the Challenger. Mm -hmm. I, f I just wonder if it really is used that much. I feel like you would get it set where you want it, and adjusting it one way or another is just going to create buffeting for you maybe maybe not i don't know i mean i think probably everybody's i think probably everybody's different and and if you have a passenger on the back you could create you know buffeting or possibly relieve buffeting from your passenger so i mean i think it probably that's all design of the windshield and right. everything else so so um yeah there's been some other good uh some good videos out there i've seen um one person pointed out and they might be right it looks like the uh the rotor the rotors might be bigger yeah um yeah i saw that i didn't i didn't really see it notice it until i saw someone's video thought that could be a good point which would be interesting the rotors um, being different would is that's a huge step for harley to take because they are definitely these parts fit on all these bikes type of a company mm -hmm. right and for them to change up one model line to me, like I know that's what we're seeing and I agree that that's what we're seeing and that's what makes me, you know, obviously think these are prototypes. Um, that may be something that when they come to production you may or may not see. And, right. Or unless they're going to change it across their line. Because all the maybe. rotors are basically kind of the same. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Um, mm -hmm. 
Yeah, that was that was the most uh, glaring things yeah. that jump out at you. Um, so, do you really think it's something that's coming out, or do you think not? That... I think that I think they're real. I think that they're not CVOs. I think that this is probably the next production bike of for the Rogue Line Street Glide, the next iteration of of this touring platform, which tells me that. I think we may be a lot further from a revolution touring bike, a water cooled touring bike, than people think we are, and than I thought we were. And I think we might be a lot further from a mono, even though you can't really see the rear of it. What, um, the frame, the way it comes down behind the engine, looks like it's the same type of a frame that we have. So I, I think that so we're I will, further from the mono shot. I'll shout out uh, F Bomb Baggers. I've watched his video on yeah. this, and he, he they. Him, his channel, they dive a lot deeper into the builds mm -hmm. than anything we ever do or will do and are more familiar. And his, um, I will say his big theory is that it is a monotube shot. Is it? He thinks that's why they no. moved the, uh, the the coil to where the horn is. So to make room back there, I the, I don't I don't know enough I, to, I, to I, know, I but that. that's his theory. He thinks that might be he thinks that is what that that is, and uh, it'll be interesting to see if he's right. I can say old soft tail guys have been moving their coils for years. My my crossbones, I relocated my coil to where my horn is, put my horn under the frame. But why would Harley do it? But why would Harley do it? There would have to be a reason. Yeah. So you may be right. You may be right. You might be right. It's not my it's not my take. I yeah. I would have had no idea, but uh, yeah. it was a, it was a good observation by him. So we'll see. Um, but listen, I like him. I I think it's pretty cool. I think it gives people a lot of things that people have been ragging Harley about when it comes to Indian. Well, Indian comes out with all LEDs in the front end and the blinkers are integrated. Well, that's, what Har that's where Harley's going now. You know, I mean, the flip side is, you know, if I'm an aftermarket company looking at this stuff, it takes a, it's gonna, it's gonna, there's a lot of light companies out there that make a lot of money on those parts. <laughs> sure, but I mean, it's the next generation, and they get uh, to they get to end up reselling these reselling parts to the same people who previously bought those on yep. the old generation bikes. Yep. So it's not necessarily a bad thing. It's just going to create a lot of work for them and yep. and, and a lot of R and D and all that. Uh, now the real question is, if this is legit, and this is the next generation. What are the odds that it's being unveiled soon, like at the one twentieth? I think if it's going to be unveiled this year, it would have to be at the 120th. And I kind of feel like these leaked photos were kind of like the leaked Challenger footage, you know, that happened a couple of years ago when the Challenger came out. Mm -hmm. um, I, I don't think this is any any accident. Um, yeah, I don't think these kind of types of things get out of the vault without uh, no. it being somewhat intentional. No, no, I, I, absolutely, and that's you know Harley's got done what they wanted to accomplish. If that's the case, we're all talking about it. Yeah. So absolutely. You know. Yeah. Well, I uh, I think I like both designs. Um, I know I like the Street Glide design. Um, I want to see the Rogue Glide. I, I need to see the Rogue Glide in person. Touch, feel, and look at it because the one the one angle looks really cool to me. The other angle, mm. if 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 it's not a distorted type of picture or a weird angle, then I'm like, mm, it looks a little strange. Yeah. Um, but either way, uh, I'm cool with the change. I mean, I'm a huge shark nose guy, but I'm all right with them changing it up. I mean, yeah. we'll still always have the years that we have to go buy mm -hmm. used. If you know what I mean, there 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 there's bazillions of them out there, so. It's okay to see a change, and it might maybe you know make some people happy that yeah. cry that there's never a change other than paint colors. And then people, other people will cry about the change. <laughs> well, the old school people will now. <laughs> I mean, it's a no win. It's, it's a no win for Harley. <laughs> we, ain't, we ain't living if we ain't complaining about something. So, well, that's that's our take, guys. Uh, we just kind of thought we'd jump on the bandwagon. Mm -hmm. it, it's an interesting topic. I mean, anybody can have an opinion on it, and. Probably, you know, we don't Does. know if any of us are going to be right or not. Who knows? Yeah. Uh, the whole thing could be phony. Though it could be coming out soon. Who knows? Yeah. Or maybe it's something that's still a year or so down the line. I don't know. Or maybe it's something we never see. That too. They must scrap the whole thing. <laughs> Who knows? But uh, let us know what you think. Um, if you've seen these pictures or if you you know watch videos and you have an opinion on this, let us know what you think about it. Let us know if it looks like something you'd buy. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, give us your theories and uh, conspiracy theories and whatnot. We'd be interested to hear. Uh, like, 
like the video if you can. Subscribe if you haven't. And uh, maybe share this with a, with a motorcycle-loving friend. And uh, we appreciate you watching. Uh, who are we shouting out today? Ooh, who are we shouting out to today? Um, I'll let you pick this one. Hmm. Kelfire. Oh, a new subscriber. A new, a, a new, you a new member. New, a new you member. went brown nosing with, with a female. Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so thanks to, thanks another, like we said, we wanted to start, you know, giving a little love to our members who are the ones who, you know, not that everybody that subscribed doesn't, but they really, uh, really, truly support the channel. Mm -hmm. And uh, Kel Fire is a, uh, a, a new subscriber, but she's been watching for a while. And, and uh, uh, she's in, involved in a lot of people's, you know, side mm -hmm. chats and live streams. Part of the brew crew now. Part of the brew crew now. So, and hey, maybe we'll even see her in May. I hear rumors. Uh, so, possibility. Thank you for being a member. Uh, thank all of you guys for watching. If you're interested in being a member and joining the brew crew, you can find that on the channel homepage. Little, little join button. Down little there. join button. It pops right up. If you're not met, joined, it's probably going to jump out in your face because you know <laughs> that's what that's what it does. But thank you guys for watching, um, and we'll talk to you guys next time. Later.